Hello gamers, I am Mike the Zorch, and this is Gamers Bay Weekly. And today we have actually two news stories to talk about. Uh, there's been some shakeup in the uh, AAA gaming space. There's almost always something going on big in the AAA gaming space, but there has been some staff losses. Uh, one person leaving one company and another one losing about half of their in higher staff let's get into the first story the first story is concerning ubisoft massive massive entertainment as you know they are the developer behind the division 2 for ubisoft and last year their managing director uh david polfeld i hope i get that name correctly he last year around june decided to go on a sabbatical and he said he would, he would return in a, a a different position would no longer be the head of the company well he's from what i understand he's handed in his resignation doesn't say when but he's handed in his resignation and that after his sabbatical's over he's basically going to leave the company and the reason he's given for leaving the company is doesn't feel that he's right for the right person to do the job of running the company that uh, basically saying that it's gotten too big the company has gotten too large and that he feels that he's not the right person to run the thing run things now, I've been in a assistant managerial position once before in a company. And while it wasn't a huge company, you are in a position of responsibility for people. And that can be a stressful job, especially if you if it's a very large company. And as I said, that can be pretty stressful. I mean, when you're a manager, it's not all it's not great. Oh, I'm the one in charge. I get to make all the decisions. Yeah, you get to make all the decisions and all the stress is on you. And this is the gaming industry where there's a lot of pressure. You know, especially if you're a publicly traded company like Ubisoft is. So there's a lot of pressure to perform to uh, meet financial expectations and to get to to get a good product out and that could be what's basically driven this guy to decide you know he went on a sabbatical he's probably under a lot of stress and so he goes on his sabbatical to relieve himself of that and then he decides no i don't want to go back to that and so he's leaving um where he goes from there is unknown uh he says wherever basically wherever the winds take him so hopefully he stays in the industry finds a smaller game studio to be a part of instead of leaving the industry like um will wright did um don't get me on a rant about what happened with will wright just don't EA is on my shit list for that. But, uh, yeah, a, a uh, big player in Ubisoft Massive leaving the company. Uh, no word on who will replace him yet. Uh, if anyone has been selected to replace their um, managing director. No word as of yet, but if we hear anything, you will be told. You will be one of the first to know. All right, so let's move on to our next story. Three, two, one. Okay, shakeups in staff in game companies happen all the time. Like EA hemorrhages people like crazy. They 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 have a fast turnaround time for developers. It's 
because of their corporate culture, the way they run things. They're, they have tight schedules. They have a lot of crunch time. Uh, employees don't get a lot of breaks. We've heard horror stories about employees not being able to get a lot of bathroom breaks and everything. And, and they just burn out and leave and they bring in new people constantly. Uh, it, it happens. It, I'm sure that happens to a lot of companies where this, uh, where this takes place. And it's happened recently at the initiative. The initiative, as you know, is owned by Microsoft. And they were working on the next game in the Perfect Dark franchise for the Xbox and PC. And this hasn't, this didn't happen all at once. They basically lost half their staff, half their development staff, about 36 people, which is half of their current development staff. And it happened over a series of a few months. It didn't happen all at once. Like, like a, not like a whole bunch of people just wa suddenly walked out of the company and left. No, it, it's, it's something that's been happening over time. And they cite um, a lack of control of, of really uh, creative freedom in the company. Not having any creative freedom in the company, they felt frustrated and they felt very they felt very limited and they weren't making much progress they're they're working on the next game in the franchise and they feel like they're not really making any progress and what's made some more people leave is now that uh, they brought in crystal dynamics to basically pick up the slack and Crystal Dynamics had, does not have the best of reputations right now because they're responsible for Marvel's Avengers or Square Enix. And as we know, Marvel's Avengers is not exactly the greatest game out there. In fact, it's considered pretty bad. So it's everything that a live service game shouldn't be. And there have been attempts to try and fix it, but it hasn't saved the game. So getting Crystal Dynamics involved in this is not a, uh, let's just say it doesn't, it it's not, doesn't uh, give you a sense of enthusiasm. Um, now, does this mean that the same people that were working on the, the um, Avengers game will be involved in this? I mean, there's a lot of people at Crystal Dynamics. Is the same team involved? Uh, is this a different team? Or um, are they... Are they going to be focusing in a different direction here? Instead of making Perfect Dark a live service game are they just there to help pick up the slack of development instead of working on live service elements don't know the game is still pretty early in development um we haven't seen any gameplay we've seen a little bit of a trailer and some screenshots That's basically it not much information is out on the game at the moment. And there goes the game that really by rights should have been a massive success and just wasn't. But uh, we've been seeing things like this happen a lot lately in the gaming industry. We've been seeing you know, people leaving because they either feel like they um, don't have creative freedom or they leave because of situation of the corporate culture. In, in this case, it's, it's because of the corporate culture in the initiative 
states where they feel like they don't have freedom in in activision blizzard it is the toxic culture in the company that a lot of people have left because of the leadership allowing certain pretty screwed up things to happen there uh, i'm not saying that's been happening here at the initiative this is more uh this is more the leadership of the company having a tighter control over what the developers do and that's been having a, an effect on their performance so corporate culture the company culture can have a big effect um some say that's why valve has not really produced many games in a long while their their company called they're not a corporation they are still a uh an llc they're not a publicly traded company but um some people say their 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 flat management structure um is a good thing about the company but also a bad thing about the company because with it they they don't have anybody who's really high up over anybody else and so if someone wants to get a project done they have to be able to convince enough people to join them to get that project done or else it never gets done which is probably why valve can't count the three and when it comes to half-life and left for dead um but when they do get together when they do get enough people and momentum behind something my god nothing stops them um with the uh steam deck and their initiative in vr when they get momentum going they get momentum going and they are an unstoppable force so it, it's it's been a good thing and a bad thing for them with their company structure and how they do things there um you know every every different company structure iteration has its good sides and its bad sides i mean i don't think there's any any that's perfect you know and and people are human people make mistakes people have egos that can be easily bruised and there are people who go on power trips when they have a lot of authority over people now that's what happened at activision blizzard people go on power trips and and they don't they don't think things through correctly and they start doing doing some shady shit but uh now oh, so so to pick up the slack for a lot of the people they've lost they're bringing in crystal dynamics we don't know the progress of perfect dark um when we will actually see some gameplay we don't know again this is another story that i will follow uh for you and i'll research this further because i'm you know doing what a good game journalist should do actually research information actually research stuff actually i actually research the industry I actually look into things. I look at industry news and stuff so I can understand it. I don't just pull stuff out of my out of my backside like <coughs> Kotaku <coughs> Polygon. So this is a developing story. If there's anything any more information, it will be a part of the next Gamers Bay Weekly. Anyway, I have been Mike Zorch. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon so you'll get notifications. Also, don't forget to check out our community on MeWe. Uh, recently, we I have set up uh, some new events on MeWe for some live streams on Gamers Bay. We're going to be doing a May 4th live stream we'll be, where I will be streaming some Star Wars games, probably some Battlefront 2 with 
hopefully with Tigra. I think I'll bring Tigra along with me. Some Battlefront 2, maybe some Jedi Fallen Order or, or any new Star Wars games that uh, might pop up. You know, between now and then, I don't know if there's any new ones that are that are coming. Then I knew that there were, have been some new ones announced, but I don't think there will be any new ones coming that soon. Uh, after that, then we will be doing a holiday event. Uh, the first is Scaretober. Uh, we've always been doing Scaretober for years, um, ever since I joined the Gamers Bay. We've been doing it on two days, doing a ne Devil's Night and Halloween, where I'll be streaming some, some horror games on those two nights. And then just before Christmas, a holiday stream will be going through, you know, Christmas events in various games. So if you join us on MeWe, you can um, opt into joining those events. And I will have... Um, I'm working on getting the Discord server up so that everybody can join if they want to chat and talk in Discord while I'm streaming. You can do that. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun on those events. Anyway, I, again, I've been Mike Desorch, and uh, see you next week.